Hey there. In one of our recent videos, we showed this kind of thing in the deal module and a lot of people had questions about it. One of our videos on commercial insurance, a lot of people had questions on what is that? How do I get that in my CRM? So it's actually a widget here at Blue Root we've developed. And so in this video, we're going to kind of walk through that. So really, how do you install the widget? Basically, how you can start interacting with it right away as soon as you install it and then how you can start customizing it for your specific business those three steps so we're going to walk through that it's going to be maybe a quicker video but as always as you're going through please like comment subscribe we'd love to hear from you and if you haven't already please please join our community it's just a set of great resources things we've compiled over a decade of working in the zoho space and we're getting just a ton of great feedback from our clients so don't miss out on that we'll see you in the video Hey there, so welcome to the video. What I'm showing here basically is the pipeline that I have and it's for a mortgage broker. So in the last video, we did the commercial insurance one. We talked about, of course, the insurance context, but I wanted to show you this, this widget in a slightly different context, just so you can you know, start thinking about it in other ways. You know, a lot we see insurance brokers, mortgage brokers, but even someone maybe who does construction who has multiple bits, you know, we've seen all sorts of contacts. So anytime you're in a situation where you have a deal, you have a client, and then you have to go to multiple places to get it, you know, you've even seen travel agents do this. We've seen it all, right? And so if you have a, want a better way to kind of track those responses, this is really what this, this tool is for. To start, uh, just to kind of get it installed, really it's going to be on the marketplace. So we'll include that link in the description, or we can give you this link as well, which is basically an install link. So you just basically click it. I've already got it installed, so that's what it's showing me. And I'll just, this will be kind of where you land once you've got it installed. Pretty simple here, kind of shows you a lot of kind of back end stuff, but you'll actually probably land on this video here that kind of walks you through it in a bit more detail. A lot of honestly overlap with, with this video here. And so now it's in, so now it's in there. So where can I actually start seeing it? So, you know, when I'm looking at, you know, a mortgage process, usually, it goes through, I you know, collect some docs from my client, maybe I pre-approve them, they find a house, and so now it's time to underwrite the deal, interact with my lenders to do that. So I'm gonna click on the deal itself, and very much so like that insurance video, if you haven't seen it, I'll just kind of quickly recap it, is that once you're in here, you know, the first step is always just starting to interact with your vendors in this, you know, if it's a mortgage deal, it's your lenders, if it's an insurance broker, it's the carriers, insurance companies. So that's always the first step. And that you can kind of do more so I'll say the old fashioned way. And what we recommend is doing it right from the email section on the deal. You can pose an email, send this to your specific underwriter or whoever you work with at your vendor companies. And the reason you do that here is because if that person responds, when that person responds, everything's gonna be tracked right on the deal. And you can send this to multiple people. So you have maybe three different threads or three different vendors and you keep track of all of them in a single spot. So highly recommend doing it right from the deal in the CRM. Once you've done that, then really kind of where the widget comes in is once that's been sent out and now they start responding and saying, hey, you know what, we have some responses, we have some information for you. And so at that point, that's when I'm going to say I'm going to create and track some submissions. So this loads up and you can see that really what it is, it's just a list of all my vendors. So we look into the vendor module in the CRM. If you're using that already, great. If not, you can start using it and it's, it's pretty straightforward to say, okay, these are all the ones I have here. Maybe I've already got them loaded up. And as it kind of shows here, if I see one on here that I don't have already, I can just add it. You can see how it's basically adding a, a new lender in my vendor lender tab, which is actually my vendor tab here. And so I can just put in those details. Once I've added those lenders, vendors, whatever you're working with, then basically you can come through and say, okay, well, what am I going to, where am I actually, where did I actually send it, right? So I can say, okay, well, I sent it to maybe this bank here, maybe this, Wealth One, sure, and Tester Lender, that sounds good, right? So I've sent it to three different places. So that's pretty much it. And I can just hit now, start tracking them. And so now I get this nice view of all the places that I've sent my submissions to, or my bids, so to speak. And then when I get in here, I can start looking and I can see, okay, what are the things I might wanna start tracking? And so by default, I can see attachments, I got amounts, I've got notes. And so that's nice and that's good for a lot of bid scenarios, but in the mortgage space, for example, we actually deal a lot with rate, right? So instead of caring about the amount, cause that's kind of fixed, what's more important is the rate, the financing rate. And that's not here. Okay, so how do I do that? So the first step is to actually go into your settings area and see what I'd like to put here in my field. And I, when I look, you can see, well, rate's not there. 
Okay, that's okay, because what you can do now, as kind of a third step with this, is actually go right into your settings area, as you're probably very familiar with, and in the customization of your modules, you're now going to have this submissions option here. So now you have this brand new module that's tracking this type of information. And when I open it up, you can see all that if I come back into here, all those fields that were available for me to kind of modify amount, status, liability, tier, approved, all these different things. There it is. Start liability tier approved, right? So that's that's great. And so really all I got to do here is come in and say, OK, well, actually, I want to start tracking as well on these submissions, the mortgage rate. Let's do that. And so that's in there. And so now when I reload this, Maybe I might have to close and reload. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So we'll close, reload. When I look in here, there it is, mortgage rate, right? So that one I just added on the back end now becomes available to me, which is great. I don't, again, like I said, care so much about the amount because that's fixed. So maybe it's tier. Maybe that's a concept that I like to track. So I'm going to put tier. So I can really kind of change on that kind of front end of the different fields I can put in. I can really modify it, make it my own. So I'll save those settings. And so now when I come in, as you'd expect, now you can see exactly those things. So, you know, this one here, the tier is you know, gold tier, sure. And mortgage rate is whatever. Maybe they gave me a 5% and and wealth one was super quick in getting back. They seem eager, right? Something like that. So you can make these types of notes. Maybe you can put a, an attachment in, you know, in uh, in mortgages. The, what's called the commitment is often associated with these types of things. And so you can put all that stuff in. You can hit save. And now you can see right there. It's a gold, it's 5%. And uh, there's an attachment there as well. And then let's say, actually, I care more about the, the rate than the tier. I could always switch this. I'll put rate there put the tier there, save settings. You can see it's switched, right? So kind of that big bold one is, is up front. And so I can kind of get through, maybe Equitable Bank, in fact, I mean, now they do 4.8, a bit of a better rate, but you know, they're a lower tier, whatever that might mean and say, you know, this was like pulling teeth or something like that. The cool thing too, is that if you ever want to go into a bit more detail of what's actually going on, you can come into, again, the specific submission module here. You can see those fields. You can write some specific notes, attachments, even emails, all that sort of stuff is going to be right there. So that's really nice. And I'll hit save. And so now that's there. And basically, you know, that process can take some time. And then the final step is to finalize it, right? So to say, okay, I'm actually going to go forward with one of these options. Tester lender never got back to me. Maybe that's okay. But before I do this, before I say, hey, where do I want to move forward? I'm going to do actually do something in my settings which is the field mapping. So this is the final kind of cool part to say, I have all these fields that I've tracked. Now I want them to show up on the deal itself, right? Cause it's always in the context of this deal to say, okay, I've tracked this. Now I'm going to move forward with a particular lender. I want the details of that lender on my deal. And so this area here lets you do that mapping to say, you know, first off really probably a very important one is to say, well, where am I putting the the lender, the actual vendor that I'm going forth with. And so I can see I have a lookup on my deal called lender name. I'll put it there. Amount, honestly, I don't care so much about the amount. I care about the rate. So these are going to be the fields on my submission. And then it goes over here and I can pull up the fields on my mortgage there. And so I can do this mapping. And then maybe if you remember that tier thing that I was tracking, I'll say this will actually go into the... Uh, what do I have? I'm just going to choose a random thing because there's not a next step. Why not? Sure. Uh, and I'll save those settings. And so when I come in here and finalize the selection, I can say, well, yeah, wealth one, they're a little bit higher, but they're, they're gold and they're a little bit quicker. I, I think I want to go with them. So I can that hit confirm and that's it, right? So you can see right here, it's kind of gone forward and said, okay, well, we're going with wealth one. It's highlighted there. If I ever wanted to modify, I could come in. If I change my mind, I can easily do that, but I don't want to, I'm going to stick with wealth one. And then as a final kind of step in all of this, just to show you how it works is that when I now look at my details, if you remember basically that mapping that I did, well, now when I come in here, you can see that under my lender name, I've got wealth one mortgage rate, I've got five. And then where's that next step? There it is. And gold, right? So all those details that I was trying about wealth one now become the details of my deal pretty cool you can see that update that just happened there so that's kind of it right so you can see hopefully in this video how you, know, you can use this widget how it can be applied in, in many different applications not just the ones I'm showing you insurance and mortgage it could be across the board who's he giving you that level of customization so if you do have any questions at all again leave them in the comments shoot us an email we're always happy to help we also have office hours that do help with these types of questions also in the link below so thanks again for watching and if you have any
any questions at all, just let me know. Thank you.